Look how charred and juicy he looks. This is incredible. Oh, a new jacket bar. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, mamma mia. <laughs> that is illegal. Mamma mia. Buongiorno, guys. It's Max Sinestra. We are in Turkey, the land of extremely juicy, tender, and succulent meat. Today we are in Erzurum. This means only one thing. Two magic words, ja kebab. You better stick around. Andiamo. Merhaba. Nasıl buldun? Ayak paça. Ayak paça. Oh. Original. Original. From Erzurum. Evet. So gelatinous. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes. That's bata. Oh. Yes. That's the broth. Chili sauce. Yes. That's nice. Oh, that's beautiful. That looks amazing. Teşekkür ederim usta. Ah, Erzurum futu. As to start with this beautiful Ayak Pacha, I've been recommended this place by so many of you and by locals. Look, Ayak is trotta, it's very gelatinous. They put clarified butter, chili sauce, homemade chili sauce. I think I need to squeeze a bit of lemon on it. It looks really, really good. Buon appetito. Oh, it is gelatinous. You don't even have to chew it. So good. Look at the big chunks. It's like jelly. Ciao, oh. Guzel. Mamma mia. Oh, Elena uh, Salik. Oh, Saramsak. Yes. Okay. Here are the tips. Saramsak? Okay. Oh. Um, okay. Okay. Vinegar. Teşekkür. From what you? What you? Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> see? Let's stir. Oh, the smell is so intense. We just put a bit of garlic sauce and vinegar. Mm, mm. Oh, oh, this makes a difference. The garlic sauce. Mm, so garlicky, vinegary, a bit salty. Oh, that's what you love. That's what you want. It's amazing. I can see this place open in 1960 and they're famous for the Aya Pacha. So in 62 years, making the same dish. <laughs> that is incredible. For lunch, we came to Doner Giaji Baba Erzurum, that according to the locals, is the best doner in the whole country. And we're here to find out what makes it so special. Andiamo. Look at this incredible doner. The chef is going to slice some for us. Oh, look how charred and juicy he looks. Look at the fat. Man, this is incredible. Top quality dinner, original from Erzurum. The Usta just gave us a bit of the amazing donut that is just sliced for us. Look how perfectly cooked, charred, a bit peppery. I need to give it a try right now because I'm mouth watering. Buon appetito. Oh my God. So juicy, succulent, fatty. That's how you want your meat to be. The chef is a master. Oh wow. We've been told that they use koyun, which means sheep, but a special sheep called purple sheep that grows in the region of Erzurum. And they grow naturally. And that's what makes this donut very special. Donerli kasharli pida. I heard this restaurant is famous for two dishes, this pita and the doner, and we're going to try them all. Doner! Mamma mia! Cheese! Local cheese in Erzurum, they're very famous for uh, dairy products. Oh. Oh. 
for this long. Uh, you murta. Okay. Eggs. That gives an amazing color and taste. Susam. Susam. The mix is amazing. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. Let's take a closer look. Et voilà. The fire. Oh yes, look at the color. A last brush. Oteria. Okay, put butter on top. And that's the final step. Oh, look at this machete. And now it's going to cut it. Oh. Chutter chutter. <laughs> Be there with the cheese and doner. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Wow. Trois gusel. Look at the cheese inside and the doner. And the seasoning on top. It's gonna taste amazing. The sugar. Oh, check the sugar. Oh, wow. We just received the doner where we showed you before. But now they put on top their special seasoning, which is very simple. Wild dry basil. Oh, take a look at this beauty. We saw the making of it before. This is Donerli Casharli Pide, which means Pide with donut and cheese. Look at this beautiful golden color which is given by the egg and the butter. Let's make a wrap with our beautiful donut. Put some beautiful purple sheep Erzurum doner with wild basil, onion. Oh, what I love about is this green onions. You can see how fun in, uh, in Turkey. Uh, this is my first time seeing green onions in Turkey. I love them. And of course, how can you not add this beautiful biber, which I don't think is spicy, but you know what? I just want to add the Let's roll it up. And what we usually say now, say together, buon appetito. Mm. The meat is inside the no, no, no. I love the basil, the wild basil in it. It gives this floral, minty uh, fragrance to it. Now it's time for this beauty. Look at the cheese. Look how cheesy. Oh, mamma mia. I wish you were here to smell it. Look. The cheese, the meat, the smell of butter, seasoning. Mm -hmm. You can give me this one every day, and I will never get tired of it. I don't know how to explain. Uh, yes, all I love. Seasoning, bread, meat, top quality cheese. I love it, the meat is so juicy and tender. We had an amazing lunch, great food, service, and as always in Turkey, amazing hospitality. A huge thanks to uh, Ajibaba family. This is the son. We met the grandson and everyone was amazing. Ciao te shigurle. Bye. Bye. It's so nice. Andiamo, let's go for more. And we are with Ali Usta. Thank you so much for welcoming us. We are here for a specific reason, to film the entire preparation of its famous Jack Kebab. I can't wait to show you guys because it will be illegal. Andiamo. Andiamo. <laughs> Ali Usta just gave us a small introduction to the Jack Kebab, which is a very old and traditional dish in Erzurum region, and is one of the master. Ara biber, soal, tuz. Simple marination with salt, onion, and pepper. Eh, voilà. Look how beautiful. Mamma, oh, Good. mamma mia, so good. Oh, so juicy, look. Look how fatty and peppery it is, and the chart. That's what we came here for. You can't get wrong with jacket Okay. Okay. Mamma mia. So, so good. If sunny. We are inside the kitchen of the Shen Yurt. Jack kebab with the Ali Usta, where they're going to show us the meat, the lamb meat, which is 
already been marinated. Look at this marination with the salt, pepper, and onion. I asked how many kilos, and they said that normally varies according to the, how many customers they have. And this massive sword is called ja. That's why the ja kebab is called this way. He's cutting the meat. Kuzuet. Oh, and that's how they start. Boom, on the skewer. Again, one by one. It's an honor for us to be here with Ali Usta. Such a pleasure, and they're all very kind. Look at the pepper. What makes the difference in a jack kebab is number one, the quality of the meat, and then the marination. Kuiru kiabarn? No. Oh, yo. No. Kaburga ya. Kaburga ya. Okay. What they use instead is the ribs fat, original fat from the meat. Boot. Boot? Boot. Yes. This is the Thai. As we've been told, they use Thai, arm, and the kaburga, ribs. That's the only three parts of the animal they use. Oh, the chef is cleaning a bit of the meat. Not sure. All right. And this is the reason why we came to Erzuru, the famous jack kebab. To see the process, to see the making. Master Ali actually learned this job from his grandfather and from his father. He will pass down this tradition because it's not just a dish, it's a tradition. They sell in this shop five jack kebab per day. That's why they have all the meat already marinated and ready. This is unbelievable. Five jack kebab per day. I have never seen anything like that. That is impressive. Okay, now he's going to shape it. Oh no, actually cut a piece. Oh. Oh. Because it's marinated. Well, Somehow it's cooked. Dynamic establishing. Oh, it melts in your, oh, it melts in your mouth. <laughs> it's very good, choke yourself. I would have never thought. Oh, it melts. It melts. <laughs> it's like eating a tartare. Okay, it's finished. Now it's going to press it. Oh. Okay. Screw it. He's going to press the meat even more. As he was telling us before, the more you squeeze the meat, the more the juice comes out and the better the quality of the jacket bag is. Look how juicy, look at the marination. Oh, oh, oh. On numero. On numero. Now it's going to stay here for a few more minutes to rest, and then it's going to put it in front of the fire. We are ready to replace the jack kebab. This is the third one of the day, 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and they already uh, setting up the third one. And they sell five per day. Unbelievable. Opala, opala. Oh, so big. Oh, wow. This is what we've been waiting for. Oh, a new jack kebab. Oh, oh, it's so heavy. Oh, that's so heavy. Oh, my mommy. Oh. <laughs> that is amazing. See, slowly, slowly rotates it to get it evenly cooked. Look at the fire! Ah, okay! Ah, ah. <laughs> I made my first cure as a jack kebab master. I think I failed, but at least I tried. <laughs> Aliusta is showing us the perfect way to eat the jack kebab. Oh. <laughs> you put some meat between the lavash, fresh lavash, and you just eat it. Oh. This is definitely being cut so much better than one I did. <laughs> oh. Plain. Buon appetito. Oh, 
Look at the fat, the pepper. Very simple marination, top quality meat. That's what it makes. The jack kebab, so authentic and special. We just received the Erzurum famous dessert, Kadaif Dolmasi, stuffed with walnuts, topped up with hazelnut and syrup. Oh. Yeah. Crunchy, soft in syrup. Cheddar, cheddar, chocolate. This is a special thing in syrup. You gotta try it out. Chota sugar left. And has, sugar. Has been amazing. You you are such an incredible person. Welcome. You have a big welcome. heart. Chota sugar left for everyone. Thank you. You and your staff. Okay. Amazing. See you next time. We will definitely be back. Good to see you, friends. We came to a 300-year-old. Ottoman house, beautifully decorated in an Ottoman style. Now it's a museum, coffee shop, and that's what we have in here, beautiful Turkish coffee. Now we are inside of what used to be the kitchen. Actually, we have in the coffee in the oven. <laughs> Cheers to you. Ah, it doesn't get any more traditional than that. For our final meal, we're going to a restaurant that I've been looking forward to visiting for such a long time. And finally, the time has come. Andiamo. Oh! Yaprak de Ner. Evet. Oh! de Ner. Tomato sauce. This is their famous butter. Local, top quality ingredient. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that is illegal. Mamma mia. This is incredible. Oh, wow. The time has come. The famous Iskander kebab is here. Look at the butter, the homemade tomato sauce, the beautiful yaprak doner. Let me give it a big bite. Oh! Tastes good. Oh, mamma mia! What makes the difference, actually? The meat, the meat falls apart in your mouth. Let me get a bit of everything with the, this beautiful yogurt. If sane, on numera. Cho 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 guzel. Top quality meat, butter, homemade tomato sauce. It's amazing. This is what it's all about. And the best way to clean up this beautiful iskander is with the Italian scarpetta. Okay. I miss that a lot. I want to do it because this butter with tomato sauce oh, deserves. A scarpetta. Oh, mamma mia, look. This is to you guys. Buon appetito. This is Kender. Is on top of the illegal. It's super mega illegal. We moved outside to have this amazing dessert. This is called Pekmesli Kadaif, soaked in Pekmes, which is grape molasses, topped with hazelnut. This dessert is traditionally from Erzurum. Oh, look at the Kadaif. It looks incredibly sweet. Oh, actually, it's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. It's not too crunchy, just at the top, because the bottom completely soaked up the grape molasses. I love that here in Erzurum, they always serve the chai with the lemon. Ah, it gives a nice touch. Ah. 
nice. I feel good after that. It really neutralizes the, the sweetness of the dessert. That's it with our Ezerun Futur. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next Sunday. Ciao.